That's a lot of stuff. So here's a quick tour of uh, my particular hell at the moment. Uh, this right here is a sofa. Anyone want a sofa? It's got all this stuff on it. Uh, you can have that too. This is clothing. Clothing that was once worn by me or someone in my... And look, uh, the one leg that's missing, I found it. So when you get this sofa, you can... Uh, I don't know how that happened. We somehow got disconnected. The sofa is still here, though, so nobody's taken it. You haven't missed anything. Now, this is all the stuff that I'm taking with me. These are boxed. This is all the stuff. You know, there's going to be twice as much as that because I haven't gone through everything. This is all the stuff that I'm leaving behind. Family 7, Mankala. I have all these posters. I don't know what to do with all these posters. They're too big to fit in a box. You want a poster? Come on. You, I'm scared to even look at them. Uh, this isn't garbage. This is just uh, stuff that I don't want. Uh, here's uh, a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, educational books. There's hundreds of books for a child. You know someone with a child? Oh, here's this is a good poster. I'm glad I, I found this one. Nuclear War. There goes my career. I still have this poster. I, I'm going to try to take it back with me. But here, where it gets dark. This. This is where the shit is happening. Oh my god. It is deep and dark. Now, I have gone through every single box. The boxes on the right here are records and videotapes, mainly, and a lot of paperback books that I am leaving. I'm just not going to take my record collection with me. It is... It is, it is crazy. Here's files that I am taking with me. My file cabinet turned out to be uh, yeah, locked, so I had to hire a guy to come in here and just destroy it so that I could get in here and have access to my files, which I'm currently going through. This is a beautiful file cabinet, a wooden file cabinet that uh, I recommend highly to anybody who wants a file cabinet. This TV worked the last time. This is my mother's and father's uh, bedroom furniture. One big thing here, uh, uh, two smaller ones here to, to go uh, um, to the side of the bed, and that one really big dresser. They are really heavy, and they're beautiful, and 100 years old, and I assume they must be worth something. But uh, now, okay, that, you know, I would have to, what type of fucking idiot would I have to be to pay $1,000 to ship National Geographic's? from Desert Hot Springs to Seattle. Uh, there's a guitar. I don't know what to do with the guitar. Uh, other than, I don't even, I, it's blue. Uh, there's a big piece of art by me. Uh, it's a Polaroid. Oh, there's, oh my God, there's a Polaroid of uh, John Doe. And uh, this is a Polaroid of apparently a, a mountain that has been dripped on. But it is like a, in a it is a giant Polaroid film case with a giant Polaroid in it that I'm definitely leaving. Oh, what is this? All right. Uh, yeah, here's kind of a cool thing. This was, uh, oh man, I do have to take this, don't I? I have to at least leave it outside. I can't possibly take this. It's too big. But at least now I know, now you know that it existed. Hey, everybody, there was a time when Hollywood was mine. Look at that guy. That is a photograph by David Hockney of me. And here's the whole article. And this was in a Polaroid magazine. And so we're going to just wander around and uh, try to see all the people. God, now what the hell? Now here we have Whoopi Goldberg, Beverly D'Angelo, Jessica Lang, an original by David Hockney. And how the hell did, did Will Power get in here? I guess they just like that one. Will Power was uh, one of the three guys from Hollywood. We used to perform at, at K-Rock together. Uh, here's another Polaroid. Uh, I have no idea who that is or where this This was from 82. It is signed by me. It is called Some Adults because up here it says Some Adults. Can't read this. Uh, here's a press kit from the IMAX Corporation when they were uh, just starting out trying to impress us with IMAX with this is all press kits every one of these let's let's pick a random press kit here shall we okay this one this is random we had TriStar pictures weekend at Bernie's too here we go yeah the whole press kit and a, a whole thing of black and white pictures you know what I 
think, I think I'm going to have to keep these press kits. I think uh, of all the stuff here, you know, records, yeah, records, they, you know, I will miss, here, this right here, every issue of the National Lampoon. Yeah, there they are. Everyone. Everyone. I also have every issue of Heavy Metal. Uh, I'm leaving behind all my audio tapes. Uh, we're descending deeper and deeper in, in, into hell here. Okay, my ties. Look at my ties. Oh, my God. Uh, the last time I wore a tie was when I left these ties here. Now, that's a pretty nice tie. If I were going to wear a tie, I, I might want to wear uh, that one. But uh, the main th I'm leaving behind a lot of videotapes. Uh, let's see. Nice lamp, nice piece of furniture, uh, an antique, more videotapes, LA Weekly. I found, I have a box of, uh, of LA Times. I have screenplays. What is this? This is, oh, the original screenplay for What's Up Doc. By, it doesn't even say who it's by, but we know it's by Peter Bogdanovich. No, it's by Buck Henry. The movie was by Peter Bogdanovich. So, here we go, 1971. Original screenplay by Buck Henry. Of course I'm taking this with me. And, and Sometimes Jones? Where am I going to get another Sometimes Jones book uh, without having to actually come in human contact with, with Larry Hankin? Uh, and who would want to do that? Oh my God, it's another Sometimes Jones book. How to Survive. Oh man, uh, that funny actor. Him. Uh, okay, uh, Idols. This is a the, the first. Uh, this is a, a, a book of photography from the seventies. Uh, Monet's years at Giverny. Yeah, fuck Monet's years at Giverny. Huh? Ah, no, beyond impressionism. That's too nice. I'm taking. I'm taking all of these with me. Uh, this is very very dangerous. Here we have. Uh, wow, the screenplay for Cannabis Jones. Screenplay for the Waldo Show. Uh, Earth Girls Are Easy. Should I, should I get the screenplay? Who wrote Earth Girls Are Easy? If you can name who wrote Earth Girls Are Easy, I'll take it with me. Uh, Magic Journeys. Nope. Ain't gonna do that. Peril Walkie Talkies. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't know. It was a picture in one of my shows. And there we go. And I guess I should take it. Yeah, let's take it. I mean, uh, Stanley Elkins. Surely you've never heard of him, uh, which is why I have to take it. Vital Parts? Vital Parts, I worked on the film of Vital Parts with, with Hal Ashby. And somewhere in here also is Hal Ashby's screenplay for Vital Parts, which uh, was supposed to be with Marlon Brando, but somehow never got made. Uh, well, I am going to get back to work. There it is. There's the locker. I'm just leaving crap over here. Anybody want a, a juicer? Come on. Juice. And these things, these dusty things are full of water, but it's water from Desert Hot Springs, which has the best water on Earth, so you might want it. There's speakers, a dustpan. I don't know why anybody would need a dustpan, unless they left stuff in the storage locker for 10 years, and it all looked like this. Oh my God, it is so dusty here. I did not remember to, to bring a mask to uh, stop myself from coughing and and sweating. Uh, here's a here's a turtle. I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, I just thought that you should you should see all this. Uh, uh, it's this thing right here is absolutely, uncontestably, no bigger than a bread basket. Well, there you go.